46. Hello, hello, hello. You're watching Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Debbie LaPrat and, and Kaliwi the Artist. And our wonderful go a uh, guest, a <laughs> uh, ghost. I'm saying ghost. <laughs> Amanda Cox, an amazing painter. So welcome. Welcome. Uh, real quick, you're watching on WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world, um, streaming live on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter Live, and all Twitter. the all the major networks, oh, yes. Facebook, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Please go to our Facebook page, which is w, uh, WJZZ Cool TV, and also go to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art on Facebook. We'd love you to comments and anything. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, well, welcome again. We're with professional artist, Miss uh, the beautiful Amanda Koss. I love your hair, With the, by the cool way. pink hair, we <laughs> love it. <laughs> um, all right, so professional artist, uh, mother, rock star, just all that good stuff. For the viewers, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Amanda Koss. Mm -hmm. I am a 36-year-old <laughs> uh, from Michigan. Um, I guess I'd say I'm Detroit-based mm -hmm. because yep. this is where my hub is. Um, abstract, expressionist, artist. Um, what yeah. is abstract expressionist? Yeah. yeah. Abstract expressionist viewers. means like you paint your thoughts and your feelings and you're taking in the world around you mm -hmm. and you're not compensating for anything else. Okay. Um, I like that. You don't have like rules to follow, although I follow some rules personally. <laughs> um, and you're just, what, you just have what, that freedom. What rules do you follow? Well, my background is in graphic design, so I try to implement some of those like design rules, like mm -hmm. the rules of thirds, color, um, hues, tones. That's very cool. Stuff like that. That's very cool. I didn't. I didn't know that. You know, I thought abstract was just getting out there, and just putting <laughs> your putting your feelings out there and just painting. Especially after we were at your house, it was so much fun yeah. painting. You know, kind of got me to a new world. So yeah. keep going. How long have you been painting? <laughs> yeah, I have been painting um, in this way for about three years now. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. What were you painting? Were you doing? Um, well, I know you said you were doing graphic before, mm -hmm. and you moved into expression ab ab <laughs> abstract expressionism <laughs> three years ago. Um, well, I was doing graphic design for about 10, 12 years. Right. And then I left the field to be with my youngest son, who was born a preemie. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want to be away from him. So, That's um, so sweet. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> She's like, yeah. Was, um, it was like a very hard decision to come mm -hmm. to, but yeah. it was very worth it. Um, so then I started painting when my mom got diagnosed with cancer. And I wasn't painting at the time. I was actually using resin. Okay. And I actually formed a studio in my garage. It was an 8 by 8 foot studio. So it was 4 foot by 4 foot. Oh, gosh. And it was actually a plant, like a plant grow house. Right. Yeah. So it was really small. And I had a little table. And I had like a foot to stand. And I was using resin and like heating it up and all that stuff, mm -hmm. making fires. And um, <laughs> having fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. And it took my mind off everything that was going on in the world around me. And it was amazing. Turns out I'm allergic to it. I was getting no. rashes all up my arms, my chest. Um, my eyes, I'd come out and it would just like be puffy. Oh, um, God. For yeah. days on end. And then I'd get like a cough and I just had like a hard time breathing. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I went to the doctor and he's like, yep. You're allergic, <laughs> so you got to figure something else out. It's like, okay. no. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you did. Yeah, because, I mean, look what you <laughs> ended up being. You ended up being this amazing artist with yeah. this color and the boldness and everything. We just love it. You know, when you look at it, you keep seeing more and more and more to it mm -hmm. type of thing. So, yeah. Now, can't you, because um, you brought a few pieces with you today, and would you mind just kind of giving us a bit of insight into this beautiful piece behind you? Okay, so this piece was created... Um, it's all acrylic. Mm -hmm. It's infused with lapis lazuli ground healing stones. Neat. Um, not a lot of people know that sometimes I do add that stuff into my work. Mm -hmm. um, I like the healing that it gives me as well as the viewer and then like the purchaser if it ever gets to that point. 
Um, so this piece was a COVID piece, and the title of it is called um, <laughs> The Art of Growing Up. Okay. Wow, <laughs> I, like I like that. And I titled this because at the time, I was home with my kids, mm -hmm. and we were all shut down, and like the world was unknown. It wasn't, we didn't know what was going on. And I actually infused it with my kids' homework, which is what oh, That is so here. cool. We were wondering what that was. Yeah. And then I've got more, I've got math homework in here somewhere. Um, I see a little bit of my son's writing in here, because I, I like to get my kids It looks involved. like there's one up there, like like yeah. where the light is. Yeah, right, here? right, right in there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love how you were balancing the colors. You yeah. know, I know you said that you, you Pay attention to the rules of painting, and, the, and there are rules. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know there was rules, <laughs> but it's it's beautiful how you were able to use those colors to complement each other and mm -hmm. the textures. Yes, I love the texture in this piece, and um, the colors. I chose them because one, they made me happy, and I like to paint things that make me happy, and two, um, they remind me of like coral underneath mm -hmm. the okay. sea, like the sea coral. Yep. And um, even though it's something that you can easily take for granted, just mm -hmm. like the light. Right. Um, so when COVID hit, it just made me realize how much you take for granted. Yes. And having my kids sitting there and like doing their homework with them, and all of their schooling, as a matter of, fa matter of fact, and painting and like being all in the same room, it's just, it was like a monstro monstrosity of emotions. Yes. And yes. Like their emotion, lessons. your emotions, like, and everybody's emotions around us and everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I titled it um, The Art of Growing Up because no one can ever prepare you for that. No. You know, no. those life lessons you have to learn from experience. And that's where this one came from. So ooey gooey one. <laughs> it's a cool. It's <laughs> very cool. It's and very it cool. is, well, you're able to capture that expression. And I love that you, um, just as an artist, weren't afraid. Mm -hmm. to lay that emotion right. out and, and capture that time. So a lot of people, um, you know, went through the negative part of it and or, or just whatever their their life was during that time. And your life as a mom, you know, being able to put the children's homework in and just incorporate all of it, you know. And, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful that you're able to balance that. Oh. <laughs> Which is actually one of our talking points, yes. you know, how you're able to balance life as a mother and, and life as a as a creator. And also mm -hmm. as a wife. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Yeah, yes. the wife, life mother, period. artist, yep. um, you know. A lot of times with men, they don't have that challenge. Even if they mm -hmm. do have happen to be in the family, you know, men get to go and paint, you know. Right. <laughs> they get right. to paint right. every day. Right. They don't right. have to change right. diapers or get dinner you know, or just yeah. whatever. You know, um, that's true. How, well, how do you conquer that? Or how, are you able to conquer that? It was a, a learning process, for okay. sure. Um, it was hard. I really, it really did teach me to not take for granted, you know, our lives as American citizens and education and just having your kids go out to school and having their own lives so that I can have my own life. Yeah. Like my goal for when my first my, or my youngest grown in was for when he went to kindergarten I would go and I'd go and make my do my thing you know right. so I guess to answer your question how I balanced it yeah. um, it was really a day by day thing mm -hmm. um, I really did focus on my kids and their happiness you think sometimes even minute by minute yes definitely yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and I would paint at night so that I didn't I could focus <laughs> on my kids um, Been there, done that. Yep. Yep. But it was so exhausting and taxing at the time that I didn't create as much as I had hoped. A lot of people commented and said, you know, have you been creating like a lot more since you've been home? Actually, it was the complete opposite. Yeah. You know, you, know? Yeah. you have yeah. a full house again. Yeah. 24 7. 24 well, a job. 7. Yeah. A job. You yeah. know, it's being a mom, mom is a 24 a hour job, and then you got your 24 hour, mm -hmm. you want to try to be an artist. Yeah. And think, do you know what I'm looking at this piece right here? And look at that looks like a little head with a beak and the and the legs right, right there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. With the white, I was just looking at that, going, "Oh my God, that looks like a little character." <laughs> <It does. laughs> you know, every time you look at it, you see more and more and more. That's what's so odd. That's what's so unique about the abstract. If you really just sit there and study it, you mm -hmm. see things that you just kind of let your mind just kind of. Oh, 
and just kind of flow and just yeah. really look deep, deep into it so you can kind of feel your her emotion when mm -hmm. she's painting and stuff like that you know so that's yeah, cool is your family supportive of you painting oh they're so supportive i'm very lucky yeah yeah cool yeah she's got a nice good husband yeah. i love your, your pictures um especially you have one son that's kind of close in age to my son so that's who i noticed the most because he has his little mohawk so my <laughs> son has his little mohawk what are your boys what are your kids names <laughs> they seem uh, creative <laughs> ronan is the six-year-old okay and grayson is 13. okay yeah. any of them one of them isn't the older one doesn't he like does he like painting or does he uh he's more into drawing okay that's really yeah. great yeah and digital drawing. Oh, oh he's into the uh, yeah how about yeah. the how about the young one he loves to create he loves doing things with his hands all the time that is so yeah. awesome that's yeah. so cool that's that's <laughs> that's what i think is so cool about kids and stuff like that you know that's very cool so, i agree yeah so i was wondering if it just kind of just helps you all express them your Self, you know, just having a a mother who creates, and especially this type of art, expressive mm -hmm. artwork. Right. Um, are they able to express themselves? I don't want to keep talking about the kids, no, you're okay. <laughs> but at least when I'm on the outside looking in, that's what stands out yeah. is that is that your children are very expressive as well, where other children may not be. You know, they not have their own heads <laughs> yeah 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 i definitely try to foster that with my kids my mm -hmm. oldest one is going through a lot of anxiety and depression and stuff like that mm -hmm. and we're working on it and um one of the things i'm trying to help him is to use art to like get out of your head you that's know? a great that's a yeah. really great thing you know I use like art that. to get out of your head i yeah. like that I like just kind of let it go and just kind of see what you feel that's that's why art <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. that's very cool i never thought of it like that i just do it because it's a release thing and i just love it and i just kind of get into my world well what do you think about when you're doing your art i just i don't know i just kind of <laughs> i talk to people on the phone i, I have yeah. fun i sit there and think okay what can i what can i create next and you know it's mm -hmm. like it's always the the creating the creating the new and what I always challenge myself, what can I make new? And I think mm -hmm. you do, too. And I think yeah. Calibri does, too. Mm -hmm. Is we're always trying to step out. I like to step out of the box. Yes. I don't like to be that cookie cutter. I don't want to be that yeah. cookie. I, you know, I don't think any of us are. Yeah. I don't yeah. think an artist <laughs> Yeah, can be But I've seen cutter. artists that stay no. within the box, and they're scared to go out of the box because, oh, it might, nobody might like it. But it's like you don't know until you try it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And going out of the box is what makes you unique. Mm -hmm. Yes. You do your voice. And it pulls people in towards you. So if you're not you know, growing out of the box or going out of the box, you're not being true to yourself. Right. I say march yeah. to your old drummer. Exactly. March to your own drummer. Yeah. That's always what I always say. Do what you love and love what you do. Exactly. I told my kids that all the time. I don't care if you're a ditch digger, but if that's what you love to do, you do it and you do the best you can. Exactly. And love it. You know, exactly. that's exactly what it is. <laughs> We're going to take a pause real quick and just remind our viewers that you are tuning in right now to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art, streaming live on WJZZ Cool TV from YouTube, Twitch. Uh, Twitter Live and Facebook, of course. And then uh, we're going to share the phone number if anybody would like to call in and have a conversation with Amanda or me, <laughs> you know, Deb or Calibri. The number here is 313-355-6018. Please call. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget, like, scribe, is it like, scribe, <laughs> follow, and Share. Share. Comment. Couldn't oh, comment. Go. Do everything. <laughs> Do everything. Yes. We want, we want more. Right. The more engaging, the better. Absolutely. Yeah. We're here with professional artist Amanda Koss. Uh, we were talking a bit about um, her work. We, she went into detail about the piece behind her. Um, but I would also love to see, because she did bring another piece here. Scroll down. That is awesome. For Can you see it? You're going to have to bring, bring the camera. Here, do we have, have to bring, bring it closer? Camera, no, he's going to switch it. <laughs> I think we have to kind well, of get closer. Remember right, what? We'll do it this way then. Here, let's see. Maybe if I do it like this. Can, whoops. No, he needs to oh, that's switch like, it. <laughs> I can hold it up right here. Wanna, whoops, now he's... Yeah, Thank there we you. go. <laughs> uh, oh, sir. Yeah. <laughs> There it we're is. Chasing cameras, folks. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> it's kind of weird because we're working backwards. All right. Could you explain this one for us just a second? So this one. Oh no, um, we're not gonna hang it. <laughs> you can go ahead. So this one, 
it was um, what I want to call a struggle bus piece. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that there's a lot of like depth and layers like mm -hmm. underneath. Um, but as it comes forward, um, a bird appeared. Oh, I see the bird. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Is there a bird in there? Yeah, there's a bird. That is so cool. <laughs> so I, I left the bird because I like it. And um, I titled it Winging It. Oh, so I love it. I love it's it. It's kind of like a reflection of kind of like my daily life. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing every day. So I'm just winging <laughs> it, you know? That is beautiful. It's I love so it. It's so cool. You captured the movement. Yeah. And uh, here's why I say you're a rock star. Here's why I say I'm a movie designer. Yeah. Movie. Here's why I call Amanda Cox a rock star because it's such a uh, you don't see extravagant I see the way I, I see the like the sun or something on there and it just looks like it just whoosh. Well, it's just it's so it's, expressive. It's so beautiful and it I mean it is abstract, but you see exactly what's coming to life. You feel that and it it feels at least to me almost freeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I just, I love it. And I love how you were able to still kind of have the paint rolling across and you leave the drips mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Facebook Live. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I like that one. Um, hey, Mr. Scott McDuffie, thank you for watching. Exactly. He's another, he's another amazing abstract artist that we will be having on, too. Um. You Okay, so you were saying that you like this piece mm -hmm. what drives you to creating you know just period well just period you have expressive work but mm -hmm. what thank what, you why do you give us these masterful pieces and you guys can't see but it's metallics and everything in there it's beautiful it's beautiful thank you um what drives me is you know like the i don't like sitting around and feeling my emotions mm -hmm. um I've dealt with a lot of like depression and anxiety and just stuff like that. And that's what makes me step up to the canvas. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I have the mission to just get out of my head and that's exactly what I need or I need that release or I need that freeing feeling to maybe why you guys feel the freeingness. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yes. Um, so that's what drives me there. So this is part of my new collection, which is about, I love it. um, I haven't released it yet. I'm still working on it. But it's a You guys get a preview. <laughs> exactly. This is the preview. <laughs> <laughs> so the new collection is about um, manifesting your own happiness. Oh, so I like that. Exactly. That's, oh. Because, like, I was getting into a rut, and every day I was sad. I was depressed. Um, every day was, like, Groundhog Day. Um, and then on top of that, we had COVID. And where are the kids? And you gotta worry about getting sick, and you gotta worry about all that. And if you guys know what that is, it's like. a lot. Mm -hmm. So, I told myself I'm gonna paint, and I'm gonna paint exactly what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So that's color, that's you know a bird, whatever makes me feel free, and not within those boundaries of depression or anxiety. So that's exactly why I paint, is so that I'm not a slave to those emotions. Like I've done therapy. I've done cognitive therapy. Um, I've been on Zoloft and mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the other ones? Uh, Wellbutrin and um, Xanax and stuff like that. And that's fine. It helps. But yeah. this is way better. This for me. is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Painting, at least for me, is a way to release. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I actually say for art, it's alternative release therapy. It's a way to release and let out what's in you. And, yeah. And, even a duty, not even just to feel better about yourself, but like you said, we feel yeah. what you let out. And sometimes even just seeing that, it, it's releasing to someone else who yeah, maybe and can't paint and yeah. maybe doesn't really even know how to get that out, but they see something like that and they're able to just breathe. You know, I think that's why people like viewing art. Mm -hmm. um, that's beautiful. I've been painting sometimes just crying and not even oh, know yeah. why I'm crying, but just crying. Like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Have you ever mixed, mixed your tears into your paint? No. Oh no, no that <laughs> one. I got some weird. Oh no, that well, is so cool. I hear cool. about artists doing that and like mixing tears and blood and sweat and stuff like that. I have not. Yeah. But, well, I have my fan hands um, on my art because I'm always present. That's kind of I have my, like my interaction with with all my, you know, like when I'm pressing my tiles. So I guess it's yeah. my my emotion and my stress that I'm getting out and this yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what tools do you use? 
So, to be honest with you, I've got like a hundred paintbrushes. But yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like to use my hands a lot. And this okay. one was a lot of my hands. Mm. Um, I like to use gravity. So, this one, you see the drips? You can see the drips in that one a little bit. So, I've what would you do? Take it and just like turn it and this have it drip down? Yep. I've got like this mega fan at home. And I'll turn it a certain way and I'll blow my mega fan. That's so try cool. to get the lines to go okay. certain ways. Um, wow. I like to use the famous blue paper towel technique, which Scott. Scott McDuffie Scott did McDuffie that. I seen him the other one. night. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I was like, um, whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> so, yeah, that one's a good one. Um, I like to use, I like to fabricate my own tools. Okay. So, we just bought a Bowflex, and there was like those plastic ties that go around it. And you oh had to Lord. cut them off. <laughs> yeah. So I yanked them. And I wrapped it around so it looks like a sex whip. She whispered it. She whispered it into the mic. It was a sex whip, people. <laughs> <laughs> but she's using it for her art. Oh, yeah. Cold word. <laughs> 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 <Just> kidding. <laughs> so. And you. So, what does that work like a like a pallet knife? How you did the how you did your your sex whip? Uh, <laughs> we're gonna call that tool sex whip. <laughs> okay, I'll let you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take it and I'm gonna lay my um, texturizing medium down. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna whip it. Oh, and I'm just gonna cool. get like some things on. And I'm gonna Ooh. turn it and I'm gonna whip it again. Yeah. Um, another thing I like to do is I like to ask the doctors at the offices if I can get those ear things that they mm -hmm. use and throw away. And then I'll take those and I'll hot glue those onto like a board or something. That's so cool. Just like slide it down. Mm -hmm. or, um, That's so cool. It's like you're becoming like, very creative with just yeah. just things around the house that you oh, can yeah. just use. That's yeah. really cool. And, and even the texture yeah. that those old, that they give off. And even I'm sure just the emotion because I think that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. We're talking about releasing some emotions. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some really anger. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That is very cool. That is very cool. Yeah, I really like that piece because I just see the bird and the whole, the whole, and I see some stars in yep. there. I love this yeah, one. I didn't even notice that. Till I, I didn't just, notice the stars. Again. Yeah. I, I like this corner right here. Like, I don't know. Is well, it got like, do you have like glitter in there or something? Or uh, you're, yeah, I got a little um carried away with some spray um glitter. Oh my god, it almost looks like somebody's like sitting there like this. Way. Look at the little guy, like the green, he almost looks like he's like this. See him? <laughs> like the spirit of Detroit, like this? <laughs> yeah, that guy. And it looks like he's sitting on a stump and he's <laughs> I'll take it. okay, it's so beautiful. I just, I love it, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. I know we're supposed to be like full blown talking, but we keep talking. We keep I'm, I keep looking at this picture. It's beautiful. It is guy. very cool. <laughs> that is very cool. Hey, Miss Baker. <laughs> so, okay. So, what else? We have like a couple minutes. Should we go like start talking about other stuff and then kind of well, go into the second? Or go, cause we've kind of been dwelling on, on the piece. Um, but what I do notice, because this one is, well, I guess all of your artwork is expressive. This one is, I don't want to say angry, you know, but the textures are very, you know, kind of jerky. And I've mm -hmm. seen some of your work where it's kind of floaty and, you know, kind of snow white. I think it's dramatic. You know, and I dramatic. 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 I think it's very dramatic. Um, you have different, different styles of, mm -hmm. of painting, even within your style. Um, is there anything in particular that pulls those different styles out of you? It's just my mood. Just whatever yeah. mood you're in that day. Um, you're going to paint music too mm -hmm. okay yeah i'm very in tune with music um it either helps me or it distracts me oh, or yeah. i go into like a zone um there's a playlist on itunes itunes it's called the fields and i like that because it's like hello -fi music hello oh they're just hello right on in hi hi, hi. <laughs> You're talking with uh, Debbie LaPrada, who leave the artist on. Get oh, we have us. We have a, Oh, my God. We have a first caller. <laughs> yes, yes. Hi. Who are we speaking Hi, I, with? I, I heard you. Um, Let me turn my. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> I heard you talking about the different um, <laughs> um, tools you use. Can you tell us about the um, 
funniest tool you use to make a piece that you love? The funniest, the funniest. tool. The funniest tool you use to make a piece that you love. Hang on one second. Um... The new one is the whip. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. Be fun. I'm about to make one. Yeah. <laughs> I've used knives. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. Ah. There was a point where I was uh, painting in my office upstairs and the kids were at home. Um, it was on the piece that was in the bonded exhibit. Okay. And I used a serrated knife and I just like carved it into that piece. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Pretty dangerous. <laughs> um, another one similar to that was the end of a, like a, a meat thermometer that had broke. Oh. So just like using that and just like grinding that into my work. And um, like when the layers get soft and mm-hmm. gooey, I can just like use it and like start to make shapes kind of like this, you know? Yeah. That's cool. a cool question. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So Thank you. Thank you. We're and so excited. We with? He never gave us his name. Who is this? This is Vito. I love the show. I love the show. I'm listening hard and I'm trying to focus. That's okay. We can't focus, so that's okay. But thank you for being our first caller. (laughs) Thank you. We're so excited. Any more questions for Amanda? I just think that's excellent how um, how you incorporate different tools um, to to express the different emotions because it really right. does give off a different vibe with each mm-hmm. thing that you do and you know we, we feel that we release that and it comes through in your work and I love it I think it gives people a different perspective of art and what an artist is you mm-hmm. know because you think you're sitting there with the beret and the, and the oh wine, yeah and, yeah you yeah you know and you really can use everything you that's right use everything. that's right is there anybody out there in the art world what kind of things do you guys use do you guys use something if you want, call us up. Uh, three, where's the number? Right three one three three five five six zero one eight. And if any artist wants to call and put in, you know, tell us what you guys use for like unusual tools or some t- techniques that maybe you know you, we're always looking to share. Yeah. Remember, it's getting dirty talking art. <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually take this moment um, just to remind our viewers that you are tuning in to. Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Debbie LaPratt, Khalili the Artist. We're here with our wonderful guest, professional artist Amanda Koss. Um, tuning in live from WJZZ Cool TV, the coolest station in the world. Yes, sir. Tuning live from YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Twitter Live. All right, again, the Get Down and Dirty Talking Art. <laughs> With us. Yeah. Back. And we've had a little bit of wine and we're feeling very <laughs> relaxed now, everybody. <laughs> so welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right. Uh, thank you again, Amanda, for just kind of sharing your, your journey with us, why you create, um, yep. you know, all that good stuff. Um, are there any projects that you're working on now or, or where do you see yourself going in the future right now? You're doing a lot of expressive work and, mm-hmm. you know, um, you think you always... where have where have you exhibited and what, what, what yeah. have you been a part of? Okay, so I first started exhibiting right before COVID hit. Then oh, COVID oh hit. wow. Yeah, so I gained, like, a good momentum. Then I had to stop, you know. So it's been a struggle. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been at the K-Rod Gallery. Mm-hmm. I was at Bonded a couple weeks ago. Um, I've had some Real pieces quick, of it. Bonded was Beacon Park. Beacon Park, yes. yes. Many, a lot of us was, were at Beacon these Park. Are big places she's naming. She's moving, trying to, like, she's moving, moving in the right direction. <laughs> she's with being the... modest about it, but she's been exhibiting in some pretty large yes. places. Yes. So <laughs> please continue. <laughs> yeah. um, so it was Bonded at Beacon Park, okay. uh, K Rod Gallery. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be there um, June. Okay. There's another show. Um, the Detroit Society of Women Painters and Sculptors. Cool. Are you a member? No. Okay. I need to be a member. We I'm all sorry, need to be a member. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and all you artists out there, you better become, tell them what it is. Yeah. It's the oldest um, art club in the city of Detroit for women. Wow. Uh, painters and sculptors. I we didn't have, know that. I think we have around 127 active members. Mm-hmm. And um, where can they find that at? Is um, it on Facebook? Yeah, they're on Facebook. So what is the actual name? It's the... Detroit Society of Women Painters and Sculptors. Okay. Okay. All right. I believe their website is dswps.com. Okay. Well, maybe try to put that on our Facebook. Society of Women Painters and Sculptors, everyone. Mm -hmm. Make sure you look them up and and join because I'm going to join. I'm sorry. That's me too. Me too. I'm (laughs) sorry. 
because it's kind of cool when you get exhibiting, a, yeah. um they are you are exhibiting there currently through june i will be okay um we have a show coming up at the anton art center mm -hmm. yep um strictly for just this society yeah. that's very cool yeah wow i didn't know that. Nice. yeah i was just talking to them today okay cool yeah. so yeah. i've also been at the Irwin house and yep. then some other smaller places zamp cultural collective um a couple of restaurants mm -hmm. yeah is there because now I'm now that's just interesting to me. I'm kind of a I'm not a feminist, but I'm a woman and I'm big on <laughs> on on feminism. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, uh, creating the piece for that exhibit. Mm -hmm. How what mental space did you get into for that? Because now I'm curious to see that. I'm actually excited to yeah. see that that piece. So that piece that I am submitting, it's a four foot by four foot. Ooh, nice big. Um, I love them big. <laughs> no, I love my canvases big. Yes. Um, not not her penises. No. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> um, so it's a piece that was inspired by manifesting your own happiness. It's part of my new collection, oh. um, and it's just those lots of flowers, but it doesn't look like flowers at all. Okay. I can't draw or anything. I'm so bad at that. Um, but it's look. It looks like you can just crawl into it. I'll send you guys a picture. That's so cool. Can we share it on our Facebook page? Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. No, you guys need to go to the exhibit. It's well, June. we're giving them a, a preview. All of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's the one that I'm going to be sending in for that. Um, yeah. Nice. I'm excited about it. Nice. That's wonderful. That's really cool. We'll have to all make a point to go over there. We'll be announcing it. Yeah. You know. So that's very cool. Where is that going to be held at? Anton Art Center. Oh, in Mount Clemens. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Really cool place. Yes. yes. And yes. then, do you want me to talk about the panel now? Or yeah, you can go ahead. You're, you're working on, okay, so yeah. um, Amanda's working on a, um, she's working on a project right now, actually, a pretty major, because she's going to be like, oh, you know, it's just <laughs> It is a major <laughs> so piece. So let me just hype it up, you know, but she's working on a very major project right now. So please, please tell us about this this project. She's incorporating artists from all around Michigan. Yep, Mike, all around Michigan, the state. Yep. Uh, so she'll tell you more about that. <laughs> so artist Marja Karjaval mm -hmm. came to me and she's like, "I have this vision, but I need help executing it." Mm -hmm. So she entitled me to be her curator, mm -hmm. and I took it on. And what we're doing is we're collecting um, self portraits from artists in yep. the size of twelve by twelves from all around Michigan. And any artists out there, if you would like to enter, we would love to have you. Yep, you can find it on my website at amandacost.com. That's right. Um, or on Getting Down and Dirty, Talking Art, too. We'll have it on there, too. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so um, they're all sending in these pieces. I've got a couple with me today, and mm -hmm. we're gonna put them up in galleries. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a piece to symbolize the coming together of artists mm -hmm. among living a whole year in COVID yep. and pandemic and having to go digital with everything. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try to have it travel. Yep, a traveling display. Yep, it's gonna be a lot of work. Yep. It already is a lot of work. <laughs> yep. So we'll see what happens and how it works. So we're starting off at um, Cheryl Zimke Boutique. And in she has a gallery Wyandotte, space. right? Yep, in Wyandotte. Is it on Biddle or is it on? Yep, yep Biddle. Biddle, okay. It's like their main strip. Um, it's gonna launch on May 21st, which is also the Wine Dot Art Crawl. Okay. So there's like four or five spots that you can go to. Mm -hmm. One being, oh, what's it called? What's that gallery called? I don't remember. I know there's a couple down there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I heard the Cheryl Zimsky space was was very beautiful. It was yeah. a very neat space. Oh, yeah. And, and I guess once you get down in Wine Dot, you'll be able to see. This is just more the reason to to go. That's right. <laughs> Wine Dot's a cool city. It's right on the river and everything. It's really yeah. really neat. I like Wine Dot. Yeah. For sure. How large is the the cutoff for the project? I guess is this, I know you're gonna and have been getting artists from all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, how big do you anticipate this being? We really don't have a cutoff. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. okay, so if they yeah. keep coming, they're, we're just going to keep bringing. Yeah. yeah. Multiple so, places. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Marta would like to see it grow as it goes. Mm -hmm. And um, I like that. Grows, gr grows as it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a cool little statement. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool thing. Um, oh. What was I going to say? I forgot. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> um, 
I don't remember. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we show um, the art? I would. I would. Would you mind yeah. if we show a couple of? She brought a few pieces. Yes, yeah, she uh, bought some here. really pieces. And also, if anybody would like to call in, 313-355-6018. Comments. Um, anybody interested for the uh, exhibition, uh, you can contact us or contact um, Amanda or get down and dirty talking art. You could just hold that one up. This is one of the pieces here. Mm -hmm. And oh, we're going like to catch it over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there and it so is. What, this is one of your panel pieces yes. from your, and what is the title of this called again? I mean, for the entire project. Oh, it's called Let's Zoom, Port Self-Portraits of Our Artist Communities. Let's Zoom, Self-Portraits of Our Artist Communities. Okay. And what what do you have with us here that you're holding? This one is created by Detroit artist Ellen Stone. Mm -hmm. uh, she titled it So Many People. Very nice. Yeah. And it looks like different layers here. Right. This fabric. Mm -hmm. I don't or, know. But it's very cool. It's, like it's very textured. And very textured behind it, but definitely a pour. I, you know, like, like these mosaic. right here. Mm -hmm. stuff, they almost look like something you chipped off a building and put but on there. Hold it up a little higher. For the, sorry. There the we go. Can catch you. Yeah. And you guys um, might not be able to see at home, but there's a lot of texture and just metallics behind it. No, in I fact, can't. I love in her shirt. I reds. I love red. Right. <laughs> but you can right. tell it's a lady. You can see her lipstick. You can see her fingers. Right. Going, you know. Um, I'm so cool. <laughs> all the textures in her clothing, the textures in her hat, uh, the textures behind her, the background. It's just, it's lovely. It's very fun. Very lovely. She's sassy. She's I love sassy. sassy. <laughs> now, for these pieces, are individual ones for sale or as a project? Once once it's all displayed and everything, once it, it gets its due, mm -hmm. will any of these pieces be for sale? Uh, we plan to sell it as a whole. Okay. Right, as a complete yeah. the installation. Yeah. Okay, so you're yes. looking for places that can exhibit them. As so a yes, whole. and if anybody has out there a place that maybe you guys would like to carry, have this exhibit, there. please okay. um, let us know. And oh, don't forget, 313-355-6018. This is so Another cool. Piece. This is Kelly O'Neill's. Mm -hmm. She's a metal artist and a potter. Oh, I didn't know she was a potter. Yeah, she was a potter. That's and also her father was a potter. And that's kind of how so she got cool. started. I love this piece. I love this piece yeah. too. It's just, now, just is this so expressive. Is metal? Yes. Yes. The whole thing is metal. Cool. Isn't cool, that cool, awesome? Cool. Yeah. I love how the face is just, it's like a grate or something. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of really cool creative pieces that I think are really going to make this panel project shine. I love her eyelashes and I love her lips. It's just so cool. It's I just love awesome. I love the whole thing. Yeah. It's just so <laughs> it's so fun. I love that. That's so cool. Yeah. So guys, make sure you go at Wine Dot Cheryl Zimsky. And if anybody's gallery. out there and wants to join the panel, we would love to have you. It's free. It's free. Enter. When yeah. is the cutoff? Because you said this is going to be exhibiting on the 21st. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're exhibiting on the 21st, what we've got. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're still accepting submissions until um, June 20th. Right, right, okay. right. Well, we might even get some strays afterwards. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know? I'm sure we will. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay, we, we have might a caller. Even yeah. Oh, we have a caller. We have a Hi, caller. Hi, caller. <laughs> Hi. Hi, caller. You're live on uh, Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Debbie LaPratt, collegiate artist and wonderful artist Amanda Koss. Who are we speaking with today? Rosemary Summers. How are you all? Hey, hey, Miss <laughs> Summers. Hi. Thank you. Hi. All right. I am so glad. I tried my best to get in on this um, on this episode here. And so finally, I had to go to YouTube. But anyway, hi, Amanda. Hi. How are you? Oh, my God. I'm doing wonderful. Amanda really helped me out at the um, Bonded uh, Art Show uh, a week ago. Uh, and she also did a Facebook Live. So I just wanted to thank her yep. personally for um, going, going that way to help me out, uh, going out of her way to help me. Too. So thank you. You're That's welcome. what it is. We're a team, and we're here to help everybody. Exactly. And thank you for calling. You're our second official caller. <laughs> we're so excited. Thank you, Rosemary. 
You all, you you all are doing very well, and Thank I love your you. art, Amanda. Thank Keep you up so the good much. work. Thank you, I appreciate Rosemary. It. Are you going to be submitting to the panel? Yes. <laughs> Oh, she hung up. She hung up. But she <laughs> hears us. All right, Miss Rosemary, we're putting a call up thank for you to be you, part of the thank panel. Thank you. That's another superstar artist. Oh, she's Rosemary a superstar. Summers. We will be having her on, too. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Oh, she called back. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Miss Summers, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm here now. <laughs> so are you going to be submitting to the panel? Okay, I'm not familiar with that. Oh. I'll send you. She'll send, send you the info. Okay. We okay, want you. Okay, send me the info. Okay, we want you. Okay, well, send me the info. <laughs> I'll, I'll be glad to. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> continue on, ladies. You're Thank doing a great you. job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you for the very call. So nice. okay. That's Vito hanging up on people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Vito, don't hang up on our people. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, my God. oh, we have two callers. I'm so excited. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that is just like made my day. <laughs> that, um, awesome. That's cool that you, uh, uh, so again, that kind of goes into balance and work and life because you, yeah. you are, you're sitting here like modest, like, you know, oh. but just the fact that you are helping, you mm -hmm. know, other artists and, and getting us through because it's, it's challenging to be part of these shows and everything like that. So even yeah. the fact that you're exhibiting and exhibiting um, as much as you are, and we just saw, you know, um, the the caliber of artist that Rosemary Summers is calling oh, in. Oh, gosh, still, yes, yes. Her still even needing help, yes. you know. How are you able to do this? How are you able? Because you're like, I just do it. Yeah, yeah. I do. I <laughs> How are you able to do this? Well, you know, like the feeling that I get from creating art and helping other people mm -hmm. and then, like, doing the panel projects, like, it overflows my cup. And I don't mean to sound, like, super corny i know what you mean yes and That's like, exactly what you mean it drives me and it just makes me feel like i'm doing what i'm called to do yeah mm -hmm. yeah you know? and yeah uh, maybe that's why i can sit here all poised and stuff like that but it's just this is what i want to do and even though i'm not making tons of money and stuff like it's, that you know it's, it's okay it's it's that me, personal you know? it's that inner connection that makes yeah. you feel like got them out there helping people yeah, and I'm exactly. connecting with people. I'm connecting with all you great people and all the great artists we yeah. have out there. It is like a family. It's like it this is. this family that we have such a bond together. Mm -hmm. and that's what I really feel when we're with the artists. It's yeah. there's an energy there that you can't get anywhere else. No. And even yeah. with if you're, when you're with someone who's just looking at your work, a complete stranger. Oh yeah. You have that instant connection when they're looking at that. And you're like, hey, what's up? Well, mm -hmm. like what? Like yeah. What are you looking at? And what do you think? You know. Then they start talking to you and you create that dialogue. It's just. Something that is just, it just overfills my cup. Yeah, you know? I know what I, I know what she means. It's a it's yeah. a feeling that you can't that doing yeah. it and, yeah. and following it, you mm -hmm. know, because it's very hard for people to follow their calling, not just with art, with anything, especially yeah. artists, because people don't know what art is. You know? That's so. right. That's what we call it. why art. Yeah. <laughs> and art is in so many forms. Yeah. Everything. Art is everywhere. It is. Everywhere. It's just not in paintings or pottery or, or anything. It's everywhere around us. And people are trying to make people aware of just just be aware of your surroundings yeah. and just, you know, type of thing. So cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Should we take a real, real fast quick, station quick. break? Let's just uh, remind our viewers that you're tuning in uh, to Get Down and Dirty Talking Art with Debbie LaCroix. Okay. Kaliba the Artist. Um, and our amazing guest, Amanda. Absolutely. <laughs> WJCZ Cool TV, the coolest station in, in the, the world. world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> streaming live from Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter Live. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, <laughs> share, <laughs> and comment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that. Uh, didn't yeah. see it No, we didn't all. see that. Nobody's seen that cup go over. All righty. We're here again with the wonderful Amanda Koss. Um, we were speaking about what was next for her, her upcoming projects, her her life, her journey. What I want to know is, what made you do your hair pink? <laughs> I love coloring. My, I love color. I really do. And I've had like pink, purple, blue, black, love it. With, like, all the streaks. And then when COVID hit, I was pink, and I really liked it. I hate talking about COVID. I really do. I know. But, I know. Uh, um, then I just kind of let it go sure blonde, and that's the Amanda that everyone like learned. That's every yeah. Yeah, so I decided to go back to pink because I like it. I love it. It's yeah. out of the box. 
Yeah. I love it. I, I feel like it, it suits you. It does. But it, it even pulls you out. And I'm glad that you say that that was the Amanda that everyone learned. Because, mm-hmm. you know, the blonde Amanda, especially with the temperament that we see, it's like, you know. And then you see yeah. these paintings that are like these rock star paintings. Even yeah. the picture that we posted with you holding the brush in your mouth. like to That me, that's is Amanda. such a cool thing. You know, so seeing you with the pink hair, it's like, yeah, that's that Amanda. Is Amanda. <laughs> yeah, this is me, you know. Like, yeah. 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 I like so, to be bold and out there. And I love it. And it's just another way to do that. That's cool. cool. We should get into how... Amanda and I hooked up. Uh, not hooked up. I don't mean it like that. Oh, I don't mean that. But, <laughs> but how, how Amanda and I kind of met. That's right. That's yeah. right. So all of a sudden, I'm on Facebook, and I get this message from this girl named Amanda Cox. And I'm going, did you live on Windsor Court? I, and I'm going, okay. So I privately messaged her, found out she is living in the house that my husband and I built. We lived there almost 35 years with my kids. I did all my art there. She found some of the treasures in the backyard. So you can go from there. I'll talk about the Breakfast Club. <laughs> so, how I found Debbie was when we first moved in, I always got your mail. And it was always art stuff. <laughs> like, from all over the state. And I was like, who is this person? I, like, Googled you, and I never found anything. So then, after I joined the Breakfast Club, after I went for, like, one meeting... I saw your name and I was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> you know, so I messaged you. And, you know, like, I didn't want to come off stalkerish, but I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Um, and we started talking and she's like, yeah. So I went to the breakfast club again and we sat down and we talked for like an hour. Yeah, after. no, it was first we went in there and you just, I said, hi, I sat down, mm-hmm. you sat down, and then you go, yeah, I'm Amanda from Sterling Heights. I mean, you first introduce yourself and then yeah. I'm still not registering who this person is because I'm in my own Debbie world, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden she gets up and she's talking about where she's from and I went. so it was such cool and then just going you know being at the house and just seeing the house and Mm -hmm. all just the memories and and she's almost working in the same part of the basement i was working in and she found some treasures oh i found i found treasures for years i did Uh, when we first moved in there were like little knickknacks yeah in the uh like the uh, i call my bits and pieces Yeah, yeah 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 And then I found like pieces that she made as she said they were her test subjects to see how they wore right. in the winter. Yeah. Well, they wore pretty well for yeah. a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It was and then just it just crazy. it was a it was a meant to be thing. Yeah. I, I mean, it was a meant to be. It was just so cool. Then I went back and I have the history of my house and how we started and everything like that. You put yeah, it under so the cool. rafters. Under the rafters. Yeah. Yep. So. There's the archives there, so in a hundred years they'll say this is Amanda Cox and Debbie LeBrand. Now, who are these wonderful people? (laughs) Artists passing on to an artist, and I think that's so appropriate, especially with you moving into like the next stage of your journey. It's kind Mm -hmm. of you know solidifying, all right, that energy. Yeah, yeah. From another artist. Yeah. Did you feel any energy in the basement or anything when I was down? You know, you were reminds me of ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not ghost energy. No, but I mean, like, but just like, yeah, like, I mean, like, like yeah, uh, you know, Patrick like, Swayze type yeah. the potter. Yeah, you know, or just just the energy of the art and stuff I like that. So because that's where I well, I started in the garage, then went to the basement. Right, and right. So that's right. where my acrylics really took off was in the basement. Uh huh. So maybe, and I feel like to be honest with you, Debbie, that after I met you, that my oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like my time at that house was complete like That's I was so done cool. like I just it was just a really weird feeling and when wow. I reflect on it like it's just That's this so is cool. weird but it's so cool and I don't know That's so cool. It's, it's very unique and I'm very thankful that Oh, I'm no. very grateful that awesome. you reached out to me and look at where we are today. Yeah. You know, friends and acquaintances and artist friends and hanging out together and helping yeah. her with the project and you're with Calibri and me and mm-hmm. all the great artists that we're meeting and stuff like yeah. that. I, I feel honored. Yeah, I feel honored yeah. too. Yeah. I feel like we're definitely like growing together. Oh, God, yeah. 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 And I feel like we have a lot of things in common. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Really you know, kind of thing. It's cool. It's, it it's, is. Yeah. Fate. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah. You know, I it's not. You're not cool. the only person that when I was up in uh, a art show up in Alpena, I was talking to some guy and he goes, "He was from Dearborn and blah blah blah. He's living in the house that I grew up in as a kid." Oh wow. So I have two people. Right. What are the odds of that? What is the odds? What are the odds? Twice. 
<laughs> yeah, because I said I lived at 1756, and he's and he's looking at me, and he's about the sister thinking he's having a heart attack, and it's like I used to have dreams about my house, mm-hmm. and once I met him, I never had any more dreams. Wow, it was like really bizarre. So it's like I have two people, you know, yeah. two connections. You know, I always so call it the cool. energy. I think yeah. that's just like a, a blessing. It know, is to be it able is. to do it in like a stamp. It is. I um, but that's actually kind of similar to me too. Yeah. I didn't. I I happened to move. I I had a, a little journey of my own, but I came to a house that I never would have came to. But when I saw it, I just knew it was mine, and I knew I wasn't gonna go anywhere. Mm-hmm. And um, immediately when I saw it, um, it happened to be actually on Airbnb. We're you know, but I just knew it was me. Yeah. yeah. But when I reached out to the lady, she knew me already Isn't that from awesome? the Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club, and she was an artist. The person who lived there before her was an artist. Mm-hmm. So, so this is like the house like, of art. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, once I came to the doors, I'm like, yep, this is <laughs> it. Yeah. This is me, the but art you house. You just kind of walk you know, in and you know it's the place. You but know? it feels like no other place that I would. It just feels yeah. perfect, you know, to right. create. So right. I, I right. definitely do get that once you're home. Mm-hmm. And Our house is home. Oh, yeah. my God, I love it. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So on that note, you know. Um, and we got about, what, four Three, four minutes? Well, we have the neighbor time. Yeah, you know, but yeah, I, know yeah. I, I, I just don't like want to miss anything. Um, if you can, you know, just what you've taken from this journey and what can you pass on, you know, to any artist, any, any artist or just any other person. Anybody, anybody. Yeah. doesn't you know, have to be an artist, um, just anybody out there that's yeah, yeah. just, you know, going through their own me. journey. <laughs> so, I would like to pass on the message to anyone who's trying to pursue something creative that um, the world's not always going to accept you but it doesn't matter what they think or how they feel what matters it's what it wasn't what is inside your heart and um, if you have that passion and that drive to create and put yourself out there then do that and don't listen and don't um, live with regret and do exactly like what you like what you love and just do it that's don't like, take don't take no exactly <laughs> that's like my best advice for anyone that's who's so trying cool. to so get out there. To cry. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> and i'm going oh my god that's so cool but how true is it because i like oh. look at like my forms and my colors and stuff like that you know yeah yeah, yeah. Wow. can you please give us your website where, where can we find amanda at you can find me at www.amandacostart.com or on Facebook, uh, Instagram, newly on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm all Amanda Koss Art. It's the same thing. Okay. Um, Amanda Koss, K-O-S-S. S-S, yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. You can art. Google me and you'll find it all too. Mm-hmm. That's very, very, very cool. And I, as of today, I'm probably going to be moving down to the Russell too. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> She's going to the Russell Complex to yeah. have an art space. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. So you oh, and Scott? Too. Exactly right across the street from Scott. Oh, right. my it's God. Not intentional, but... I'm going to have to come <laughs> visit you both. That is so cool. It'll be fun. That is so cool. We're going to have to have a live shot from from there. Yeah. A little live on video yeah, stream from there. Yeah, in action. That's Let's right. I want to see that. I want to get I want. We want to see that. <laughs> I'll make you your own. I'll oh. take it home. <laughs> So I just want to thank everybody for watching Get Down and Dirty Talking Art. We are on WJZZ Detroit Jazz Radio Cool WJZZ Cool, cool TV. TV. <laughs> yes, yeah, so well, I wanted to get both of them thank in there. Thank you so much, Amanda, thank you. for coming thank in you. and sharing with us. And please, please return. Please make sure you guys check Amanda out on her on her website, her social media, her platforms. Uh, see her purchase her art more importantly uh, she'll be at the Anton Center in June yes she will have her uh, panel up and just tune in thank you for tuning in guys thank you everybody yeah. get thank down and dirty talking much. art WJCC Cool TV